Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to my DIY and car repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't use a paper clip to jumpstart your compressor. This is the second video after my previous video of actually using a paper clip to jumpstart a compressor. So go check out that video. It is definitely worth a watch, uh, but definitely make sure you come back to this one. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about two things. I'm going to be talking about the relay, and I'm also going to be talking about the AC uh, system in general. So first off, we'll talk about the relay. How come we're using a paper clip instead of a relay? And that's simple. I'll explain it on this board. A relay, really, it's just an electromagnetic switch. And what this means is that it works just like a switch. It closes a circuit, but it uses magnets. What does this look like? Well, basically, on this relay, you can see that there's four terminals. There's two golden ones and two copper ones. These two gold ones have one circuit, and these two um, copper ones have a different circuit. And on this diagram, you can see what they look like. On the golden circuit, you can see that first, you start off the power control module, or the PCC as some people call it. It starts off as an input, and then it goes through the golden wire to power this coil right here. And then after that, it goes back to the ground. The second circuit is the battery of the car. First it goes through a fuse, which is not pictured. Then it goes through the circuit, through this gap right here, and then out the second hole to the AC compressor or your, whatever component it is because relays are interchangeable, and then to ground. Right, so with that being said, why does this act like a switch? Now what happens is basically this input is what controls the switch. So because it goes through a coil, it creates a magnet, an electromagnetic magnet. And what that does is it pulls this iron core that's inside the relay, it pulls it towards the coil. Which is why I said in the previous video, if you have a broken relay and you shake it, you should hear some um, uh, clanking around because the iron core had gotten dislodged. And that is what is completing this circuit right here. If the magnet's not on, what happens is there's a spring that's not pictured and it retracts and that circuit is open, so the battery doesn't go to the AC compressor. So for this circuit to be completed, the coil has to be turned on. But for this coil to be powered, the input has to be on. Let's get to the compressor now. For the compressor, in order for this uh, input to be on, we need a few conditions to be satisfied. The engine has to be on, the AC has to be on, and the pressure sensor has to be um, on as well. And the pressure sensor is important because if the, pre the pressure sensor basically detects when there's too much pressure, it shuts off the compressor when there's a bit too much pressure and that could damage the system. And also, as we mentioned in the previous video, it also uh, detects if the pressure is very low or even zero. And that's why we had to jumpstart the compressor because this condition right here wasn't met. So now then, uh, with that all being said, I think we've gone over why we use a relay. Actually, how we use a relay. But why do we use a relay? This is a sort of a tangent. But the reason why is because normally you'd have the power go through a, a, like a, a, a long wire to go through a switch, which is the PCC. And then you have it go back to the AC compressor. That's a lot of wire. But what this relay does is you have the relay closer to the PCC so that it just it uses less wire, and there's a whole lot of other problems that are uh, alleviated when you have a relay, rather than just using a physical switch. All right, so finally, just to clarify, a relay is an electromagnetic switch uh, that basically works when you have the conditional statements met for the PCM, the power control module, to send an input to turn on this coil. And what this coil does is it basically attracts uh, a magnet, uh, an iron core, to complete a circuit. And when that magnet is turned off, a spring retracts it so the circuit is open. And then when the uh, magnet is attracted, it completes the circuit from the battery to the compressor so the compressor is turned on and finally it goes to ground. Uh, for the compressor, when it gets power, the clutch engages. Alright, so how can we confirm our suspicions? So first off, in order to tell if these golden pins are actually for these inputs, we already know that there's continuity between them. So we're going to take our multimeter, we already have it set to the correct um, terminals, and for this four-prong relay, which this car uses, some other cars use five prongs, it's, what we do is we're going to take the these two, and basically if there's continuity, it should show something other than one or you know just one. So as you can see, 
I don't have steady hands, but you can see that there is continuity because there is a number showing up on the multimeter. As opposed to with these two. If this isn't powered, these two aren't powered, this circuit shouldn't be running because the core isn't attracted. So if we attract them, you can see that the multimeter stays at one, which means that there is no continuity. Now then, let's look on the actual relay terminals right here. So I'm going to attach this to the battery. So th by the way, this tool is the Power Probe 3. I've done quite a lot of videos on it, so go check them out. All right, so now we're gonna be tell if these are, we're gonna tell if these are ground or live. Right here, you can see that the plus is uh, lit, which means that it's live. These are for the, these two are for the copper, by the way. And this one right here is negative, which means that it's ground. negative so it's ground and right here no matter how we finagle with it while the engine is off this is not going to output anything because this is conditional so it's neither live nor ground and the, the engine needs to be on for this to have power which i'll show you in a moment but first i'll talk about why we don't use a paper clip for jumping the compressor and i gotta be honest guys i clickbaited you the reason that we don't use a paper clip to jumpstart a compressor is simply because it's not safe. Just, just doing it like this is really imprecise and you might even get shocks while doing it. What's much more safer is to use a wire that's much more manageable and you know, it's not gonna shock you. So like that. To add on to that, the paper clip itself is also not insulated. So that means that why you, why you'll do this, this part is, is plastic, right? It's okay. But when you do this near like a, a long piece of metal, or a long paper clip, you could potentially touch some uh, metal and shock yourself or even damage some other components. And what can happen is that if you're not experienced or you're, you don't work that well, like, like I accidentally messed up in the video last time, you can actually put some of the, uh, you can put the paper clip in the wrong spot. I actually, I actually put it here last time, which is big no-no. And you can even link up the conditional and the, uh, the, this was ground, right? Yeah, you can link these up. And that can damage a few things. You can it can damage your your PCM first of all because that's connecting your PCM to your uh, your ground, or it can damage the uh, the entire board itself. Another thing is you don't want to do it too long because the AC compressor clutch it's supposed to run on a cycle. If you do it for too long, it's it's gonna mess that up. Now then, this this method of using a paper clip or a wire it's a catch twenty two because you need to run the compressor in order to fill refrigerant and refrigerant is needed to run the compressor. Now then, let me show you the actual recommended safe way to do this, and that is to link it up directly to the compressor, which, take a look. The compressor is down there, and in order to get to that, you know, the fans are right here. In order to actually, to, to connect it, you have to take like a long wire and basically connect it to the terminal and then to, to the uh, compressor. This is a compressor, by the way. You gotta connect them, but you know, you have to reach down all the way into there. You have to unplug the cable and then reach in there. It's, it's very tedious, which, you know, it's safer, but this one is much more convenient, but less safer. I should add that. Now then, let me turn on the engine so you can see what the conditional statement looks like. All right, so we have the engine on, but before we turn on the fan, because it's very loud, I'm gonna tell you that what we're gonna do is we're gonna detect if it, it's live. Right now, it's not live because the AC is not on. But when I turn it on, I didn't turn it on to max, so hopefully you can still hear me, but you can see now, uh, it actually detects uh, a low signal and this detects a high signal so as you can see when low goes to high that's the circuit there we go and as you just saw it was a conditional statement of if the engine the ac and the pressure sensor are all in the right condition uh, um, state as you can see what happens now is the circuit between the copper plates these copper terminals they're going to be completed and then the battery is going to supply power to the compressor that is 
should mention that when I say compressor, I mean that power supplied to the clutch, which then powers the compressor. But for now, I think that is everything that is required for me to talk about in this video. I talk, today I talked to you about the what, the how, and the why of the relay, and basically how this entire circuit of going from the battery, the PCM, and the conditional statements to the compressor. So that's Irelia. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially the DIY auto repair. Uh, especially check out that last video. Like I said before, it's a hoop. And I'll see you there. But for now, Mechanic Ayman, signing out. Peace. Let's go.